Uh, this is minute, second run, any percent. Uh, one little note before this game, before I start the run, is I'm going to be resetting a lot and dying a lot. Um, I can actually do that by pushing the C button. What that does is it takes me back to my current checkpoint. And we're going to be using that to death warp a lot and in order to optimize our movement as much as possible. So with that note, three, two, one, let's go. So this is second run of minute and you'll notice that we only have one heart compared to the usual two that you'd start with. And we start with the broken sword instead of the normal sword. And on top of that, we have only 40 seconds this time instead of 60. So it's pretty crazy, but this is a really fun category. Uh, picking up the watering can and then immediately heading out, uh, we are going to be picking up the flashlight. The speedrun usually doesn't pick up the flashlight right away, but for uh, marathon safety and to make it easier to watch the run, I've decided to lose about a minute and pick up the flashlight for this particular marathon. So we're going through killing all the crabs. Uh, this last crab is really hard to find. Uh, it's hidden behind this pot that takes several times to break. And then we head up here and we get the coffee. Uh, the coffee is going to be used to push blocks, such as the blocks blocking the lighthouse key. As you might imagine, the lighthouse has the light as well as the flashlight. We're going to head over this way, push the block, which we can now push with our coffee, grabbing the lighthouse key, and then heading over to the lighthouse. This NPC right here on this screen is one of my favorites. In both normal pers normal run and second run, they take almost the full amount of time to give you the information that they have. So we grab the flashlight, and that's going to allow us to head through this dark room right here. Or at the very least, the game expects you to have the flashlight to head through this dark room. Especially in this run, it's important to kill that snake since you have no health as leeway. Make sure to dodge the bull. And we're gonna head over here to our first checkpoint. Taking a reset in order to restock our clock. Now we're gonna head over this way and we're gonna go enter the same screens multiple times in order to make the game think we've progressed further along the desert than we actually have. Uh, next up, we have to kill these ghosts right here. There we go. A little slow, but took it took it safe. And that gets us the sword thrower. And not sure if I have enough time there. This next room's pretty tight. So the sword thrower is kind of what you imagine. Uh, we're going to use that to throw our sword <laughs> and take a shortcut that allows us to get a very important item for this category. Uh, right now, we're using the watering can in order to get to someone in the desert. Because the signs were saying, oh, there's someone needs water. Someone save them, help them. And in this particular run, second run, it takes almost your entire clock to get down there. Want to make sure to actually, uh, actually spray them with water. But it, you always cut it pretty close. Now that we've saved them, they're actually going to reward us with an item in this shack right here. Now this is one of the rooms that's much darker in second run. But we're going to grab the gardening glove, which allows us to break these stumps, and we can head over to our original checkpoint. There we go. Now this is the, from here on out, is the biggest difference between normal run and second run. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading up this way, and we're going to first lower this bridge by killing these two. And we're going to grab a very important item called the camera. 
and the camera is going to allow us through a shortcut. And now this run is actually incredibly tight. Hopefully we can make it. I think we've got just barely enough time. Nailed it! Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to... Oh, no, actually, sorry, we need the sword first. And second run has more blocks right here. Which is actually very fortunate for us. Unfortunately, I screwed this up a little bit, but there we go. Managed to recover. We need to push two blocks of boxes in a row. And we have just enough room to hit the switch to cover the bridge here. Which lower, which, which rises this gate. We need to enter this room with the camera so that we're considered press. And from here on out, we actually have a little shortcut that we can do in second run. So in order to finish the game, turns out all you need is the broken sword, which we start with, and to enter the toilet. That's all you have to do. So you don't have to fight the boss, we don't have to do anything. There we go. <laughs> 509. Fairly solid run. Messed up the blocks a little bit, unfortunately, but a fairly solid second run with the flashlight.